What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Gmaya's World. Today we're going to be doing some upgrades that are very, very necessary for us at this time. Uh, pretty much we're going to be upgrading our left tackle and our left guard if it's possible right now, if the prices permit to be the same way that I last saw them. Now, pretty much what you're going to need to understand about this is this. What EA Sports does in some kind of very, very, uh, it's like a secretive fashion. You guys may notice when new cards drop, automatically your cards start to play like garbage. It's not coincidental that it happens, so I just wanna make sure you guys know, you're not going crazy, it's actually a real thing. These cards just stop performing the way that they're supposed to. So what's our job? We gotta be able to identify that and understand exactly what's going on and make the most out of what we have and try to get better by selling the cards that we currently have. So Joe Thomas, who at one point was an absolute stud because of the nasty streak and stuff like that, is at this point very, very obsolete in this game, right? So look, this is the number one thing that you wanna do. You wanna go over and check the current prices. Now, um, we're gonna go ahead and take at the new, we're gonna take a look at the new Ultimate Legend left tackle that's available, and then we're gonna go from there. And I'm gonna to explain to you guys what we're gonna be doing moving forward from that situation. So ideally, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go over here, you're gonna to wanna to go to left tackle, then you're gonna to wanna to go to quality, and just go to 97. Or you could type the name in. Uh, sometimes it's just easier to do this because you'll pretty much find it uh, much easier this way. Jason Peters is a no for me dog. And then you look at this guy. All right, so he's 309, and then his next price is 312. So there's no real rush to go crazy about it, but we can go ahead and look at what his set prices are and see if it's cheaper. Always do that. All right, and as far as the 97 overall power pass, you're never gonna waste your 97 overall power pass on a card like that when it's relatively cheap. Just spend the coins, replace him with the card that you actually uh, have there currently, and make sure that it works out for you. That's pretty much all I can recommend. Now, let's take a look at these prices. 170, all right, uh, what do you got there? Uh, 170, okay, that's already 270. All right, so that doesn't make any sense already because that's already 270, so what's this? So that's 290 something. So obviously the 309 is probably gonna work out to be better for us if that's still available because this right here, yeah, it's already gonna be a little bit more. So in this case, it makes sense to just go ahead and buy you know, the Walter Jones card. Now, as far as his power up goes, that's all gonna depend on what you have time for because all of these players, you can get their free power up by just simply playing the mission. All right, the challenge that's available, very, very easy to do. You just go ahead and grab it. For the purposes of this video, obviously I don't feel like going through and playing another mission. I did it for Calvin Johnson, but I actually care about Calvin Johnson being on my team immediately. This guy, I don't really care about. So we're gonna go ahead, he's 2100 right there, and then um, all these other cards are here. Where's the 95 at? Uh, I mean the 97. All right, so automatically that just went up that fast. We should have got him at 309. All right, so we messed up right there, bro. I thought it was sweet, it was mad sour though. So we're gonna go ahead and just pay 315 really, really quickly. We'll snag him up, all right? We're gonna go ahead and snag his power up, and then we're gonna go ahead and put him in the lineup, and then we're gonna get rid of him, and then we're gonna go and proceed to go after the next player uh, that we're gonna be going after. Um, let, I think that's gonna be a Gene Upshaw. So we need to go and, what is that power up? Like a 77 or something? We need to go ahead and grab that, I believe. Okay, yeah, that, that's perfect. That's perfect right there. I'll go ahead and grab that. All right, so now we have his power up and we have his card. Now, sometimes you may need to actually go ahead and downgrade the other player first. We are in a fortunate position to be able to actually, you know, update a player without having to sell off and get everything else back before we do it. But I would like you guys to make habit of breaking down your other player before you actually start spending on newer players. It just makes it easier for you with the transition. All right, um, that's something that you guys should get in the habit of doing. So let's go ahead and um, we'll go ahead and upgrade him because we have 38,000 training. We should be good getting him to where he needs to be. Um, he does have secondary positions, but that doesn't matter for us because we're not looking to do anything else with him. Please note that these power-ups for these players are extremely expensive and EA does not care. You see 12,100, that's just ridiculous. You know what I'm saying, like it's getting wild. But remember, these are Ultimate Legend players. These are players that are gonna be lasting for at least the next couple months. So, you know, you might wanna spend on it if you need to. As far as ability, though, uh, ability goes, you don't really need that, so it's not a big deal. I would just leave the abilities off for those of you guys that ask like, yo, why don't sometimes you pay the extra five training? I know it looks good, but it's definitely not necessary. Um, we're gonna go ahead and give him power run because that's what everybody you know usually has. He's a 98 overall, so he gets the plus four. And then we're gonna give him brawler. 
because he is an offensive lineman and that's all you should be doing for your lineman is giving them the additional strength. The front arc, what does he have? I think that that's probably the best looking one that he has. Yeah, that one looks kind of weak. I don't care about that one. Yeah, uh, what about, this one looks kind of ill. Uh, no, nah, we'll, we'll keep him like that. That's fine. There's nothing else that's really going on with that. So now, we pretty much go in. We're going to add him into the lineup, okay? We have Joe Thomas. We have to keep the backup Staley because Staley is a 49er, and we have to make sure that we have the proper chems. Always remember that. The chems are very, very important. Before I actually downgrade Joe Thomas, I'm going to also compare him to Walter Jones to kind of give you guys the insight of why I decided to do that. You see his low numbers right there, and then you see... Well, they have the 93, but this is without chems, where you're looking at on the right side, the 96 run block, the 93, uh, all that other stuff that's going on. But I'm going to go ahead and we're going to upgrade him first, and then we're going to actually compare him to who we're replacing. And I'm going to show you a key factor. Yes, he's a 99 overall, all that good stuff, but that's not why he's so essential. I'm going to point out to you what's going on. You see his 99s? His pass block finesse, his pass block and all that stuff. Yeah, it's not for the run game, but it's 99s. And those are very, very important when you're looking at certain things. And that's what caught my eye when I was looking at him uh, when the card was released. I'm like, I could actually chem this guy up to have some really, really crazy numbers. Now, realistically, we don't pass the ball a lot, so that doesn't really matter. But look at his footwork. Look at his run block power. Look at his natural run block. Okay, those are very cool things. Now... As far as impact block and lead blocking, those are the very, very important things. So he has a 95. That's like, eh, you know what I'm saying, bruh? But I think his lead block is going to pretty much surprise you guys. All right? The lead block, which is something that is very, very essential, he jumps all the way to the max of a 99, which means that we're going to be running like nobody's business. But if we do need to pass and we do have to run play action, he's going to be excellent at that position. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead. We're going to leave that the way that it is. All right. We're going to go ahead. We're going to break down our next player. All right. We're going to break him down completely. Who is Joe Thomas? Because guess what? He's been replaced effective immediately. So we no longer need him. You go ahead. You find him and he's gone. And that's it. And then we move forward with everything else that we have to do. We go to the left guard next. So again, you go to it. You don't need to do everything individually because... They're going to automatically give you everything back. Like as far as, um, you know, like that right there is going to take away his power run. That's fine. When you get down to the fact that you needed the brawler or whatever else that's there, you get back all that stuff too as well. So once you get down to the physical part, which is right here, you'll see the additional 720, which is giving you back 90% of what brawler is. So they've updated the game very, very well to make sure that you don't need to go individually which eat, you know, with each thing. So for those of you guys that had concerns about that, you no longer need to have concerns because they do automatically give you everything back. So that being said, um, this guy right here, let's see what he's going for and what we can get back. So he's at 110, all right? Now, here goes where it gets interesting. Because he's a 93 overall card, but 110K, you're probably like, yo, that's crazy. But the market is so bad right now, you would have to consider, do I need the training or do I want the coins? For us right now, 13,000 training doesn't really mean as much. And also, you could pretty much sell him instantly for 99K. And it doesn't matter how good his card becomes with his next card, we're going to still be on the up and up going wherever we're going. So we're going to at least get something back for him. So if we put him up at like, you know, 101, He'll probably sell immediately, and then we'll be done with him. And that's it. We move on. We go to the next thing. Because honestly, with the way the market is right now, you'll be wasting your time doing anything else other than that right there, what we just did. So you can always go back and double check it. But because we're trying to do two upgrades at once, it may be in your best interest to go ahead and see if you can get rid of it. Usually, I would put them up for like 99K and just call it a day. But for right now, we'll put it at 102 and see if he sells. Not a big deal if he doesn't. We could always go back and get rid of him for training or whatever else you know may come around with that. Now, we're going to go look at left guard. I don't remember if we had... Um, all right, so we do have Gene Upshaw's uh, everything that goes into his card. As far as the power-up goes, he's going to be the next replacement. We're going to be replacing Bruce Matthews with Gene Upshaw. He's another guy that at this point right now is so much better at run blocking than that guy is that it's going to change the game. So let me just go ahead and fast forward to what you're going to see here. That 97, take a look at his run block power, run block finesse, his, imp his impact blocking, and look at that key thing right there, lead block. Guess where that's going? Ding, 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 ding. 99 overall. 
So now we're gonna have 299 lead block players on the left side. Where do you think we're gonna wanna run the ball? To the left side. As we get our offensive line stronger and stronger, it's only gonna get more and more ridiculous for our opponents. So now, we can start powering them up to see what it's gonna cost and everything like that. Always keep in mind though, we have something in our back pocket because we have a card that's up for sale. Never forget that. Always understand all of the things that you have that you know help you upgrade your squad. You have to have surrounding key factors that's gonna to contribute to what you're gonna be actually doing. Yes, we started off having over 3 million coins, but right now, because we're trying to actually upgrade, we're gonna to have to spend some, and it's fine. All right, we'll spend the 87, 492, no big deal. We're gonna make those coins back up because we're gonna win more games, weekend league, head to head, whatever, and we'll be able to you know, continue to accumulate what we need to do. So let's go ahead and finish up what we're doing here. We'll go ahead, grab that, and uh, that'll be that right there. Ability over here, 5100. Yo, what? Yo, we are gonna be all out. We're about to be all out of coins playing with EA Sports, man. EA Sports is taking no prisoners. 381, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna buy it right now because I don't wanna have to deal with completing a set. It's fine. I spent a little bit more than I had to, but it's okay because I'm doing the video, somebody else made out. Hopefully it was one of you guys that are actually watching the video right now that I actually bought that from. I always feel good overpaying for my viewers. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go now, we're gonna add the Raiders chem to him, okay? We are going to then add Power Run. And remember, please note, he's not a 98, so he doesn't get the plus four. So we have to stick with the plus three, all right? Just so that you guys understand what's going on with that, I always wanna make sure that I'm pointing out certain things so you understand certain things unlock at certain levels. And it does tell you so you can know prior to it happening. We're gonna obviously add Brawler to him, all right? And um, that's pretty much where we are with him. Go down to the front art. What is this? All right, that one looks kind of weak. What's this? Cause you, you, hey, it's all about the style, how you look. That one look crazy. This one, nah, that garbage. Oh, all time. He got the all, okay, yeah, the all time is where it's at. Let's give him the all time. That's nice, I like that right there. All right, so th that's everything that we're doing with him. So he's done. Now, we're gonna have to get rid of the other guy, but we're gonna do the same exact thing. I'm going to show you, once we add him into the lineup, where he is. All right, so like what, you know, what everything entailed with that upgrade, where he currently is, um, you know, compared to who we're gonna be replacing him uh, with, right? So this is Bruce Matthews, he is gone, effective immediately. Now you could already see before the chems and everything that Gene Upshaw's card on the right side looks a lot better. And the run blocking chems, even when they're chemmed up, it just looks so much more like, it's it just, it's crazy. It's absolutely insane when you actually see what's going on with it. So now, with everything being said with the way that he is right now, Gene Upshaw, we could actually now go and compare him. So let's take a look at it and see what's going on. You'll see that 99 run block power, okay? You guys might not, you might be like, yo, what does that mean, 98 run block power? I'm gonna tell you this right now. The more 99s, the better. So he's able to get 99s. We're not asking any questions. He's faster than Bruce Matthews. He has a better acceleration. He's stronger. He's more agile, all right? You compare everything else, the run block is better. Pass block, we don't really worry about too much because we're not really passing the ball too much. Impact blocking, almost a 99. Would I have loved it to be a 99? Absolutely, it didn't work out that way, but guess what? We get our lead block, all right? Now, our lead block being 99, those 90, the more 99s you get, the more problem it's gonna be for your, for your defender that you're playing against. Your opponent is gonna wanna rip his console out the wall and smash it into pieces. And this is what I need you guys to start to understand. As you build your team up, you have to make sure that the way that you're putting your team together fits your profile, all right? It has to fit, everything has to make sense. If it does not make sense, you are going to be putting yourself in a very, very difficult situation, which I don't want to ultimately happen. So you have to build your team. If you're a passer, obviously it's better to have both runners and passers and all that stuff, but this game is built for the run. Make sure your offensive lineman can run block. That is extremely important. I can't stress it enough. You guys run, oh, I passed the ball, Jimai. I don't care about that. You will though. You eventually will. Because when you start playing people like me, that's gonna be doing whatever I want, you'll realize it and understand I'm sending everybody every single play. All right? Every single play, I'm not concerned about it. I don't care. It is what it is. So you gotta be prepared for that kind of stuff. And the best way to be prepared for it is to always have an out. So if your players can also run, uh, run block as well as pass, you're going to be fine. 
if you only gear yourself up to have certain things like, oh, I only passed the ball, so I don't care. I'm gonna do it like that. You're gonna get eaten alive by players like me. I'm sending everyone, my GM, uh, my girlfriend, my wife, like, bro, like, it, it's crazy. Don't, I'm, engage eight. If you got, how many of you guys are watching me last year when I was just running engage eight and I couldn't be stopped? Just, just keep that in mind, guys. It's always a method to my madness. Just don't be that guy that gears your team only for the pass because you're gonna lose doing that. Now, let's take a look at Bruce Matthews. What is he going for? Probably something very, very cheap. Uh, 194, that's not bad actually. So we'll go, because I don't believe that that's his price, the way that it is, and you know, maybe he'll be getting an Ultimate Legend soon, whatever, I don't really care. We're gonna go 175 to try to get rid of him right now, just to make sure we get some of our coins back. We know that we're sitting on another 100K, possibly with Joe Thomas, that's also fine. His Legends card is gonna be relatively cheap though. I don't see it being that crazy, yeah. So we'll go ahead and put that up for like, you know, like 45K or something like that. And then um, that'll pretty much be it for that. And then we'll have an idea of what we're gonna be doing going forward. So 45K, he'll probably sell for that. That's good to go. And then once we get Joe Thomas going, that's another 100K. So we're looking at, looking at it like another 150. So pretty much we'll be at like 2.6. We spent 600 to upgrade our team to be a lot more formidable in the run game, which is something that we really, um, you know, we're always doing it. Like we're always running the ball usually. Now, I have been passing the ball a little bit more as of late, but it's not like I've turned into a whole passer. When I tried that with you guys early in the year, I wasted coins because it all came back to the fact that the game is a run-based game. And that's where it's gonna always fall back on. So we need to be ready to go. So both of our Bruce Matthews things sold, but Joe Thomas has yet to sell which is really bothering me because we put it over 100K. So look at the simple trick that you can do. You just have to put it like 99 because the 101 or whatever we have him at, where is he? Did he disappear? There he is, dude's garbage. The, the 102 or whatever we have, believe it or not, you see how that guy's at 100? Watch what happens when you put him at 99, for some reason people just like spending under that amount, you know, under 100K, so they'll, they'll bite on it even though we're still getting realistically the same amount because EA is taking their tax and they don't care, bro. Like they're gonna take their tax regardless. So it's not a big deal. We'll go ahead, we'll do this and we'll finish it off. And that's pretty much it. So um, let's go ahead, 98, 99, whatever. He'll sell for that. And then now we have a completely different type of team because we know that on our left side, we have two players on that side with 99 lead block. So. Everything else that falls into place, that's all fine and good, but that is a very, very huge factor that we have those two things there. Mawai is no slouch. So now we're starting to gear up to be that type of team that we ultimately want. Then you double check over here that everything is good. So we have the power run, we have the go deep, we have the pass rush, 49er chem is good. All right, everything's good there. Sprinter's good, Brawl is good. John Madden coach, and then that's where you evaluate everything else that you currently have going on. So now we understand that they're getting their max things as their card is supposed to be. And now we can just move on and go to the next thing. All right, so now it's just time to go out there and just win games because we know that our run game is gonna be even more dominant with the way that it is right now currently. And that's what I want for you guys. All right, so I wanted to share this with you, these two major upgrades that's gonna change your game completely and now the next time you guys are able to see me stream which i will be streaming very very soon i've had a very very busy schedule guys life happens but i haven't forget you guys i haven't forgot you guys and the love and the support you show me i'm gonna see you guys very very soon thank you guys so much for joining me let me know if you like the way the team is rounding out and anything else you want to leave as feedback in the comment section you guys go ahead and have a blessed day until next time one love y'all